that leaves me with the Bengals. And I think the Bengals are one of those positions where I don't want to give them, I, I can't give them an A. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know if the B plus, I, I, I'm going to give them at least a B though. I think they made a lot of moves. They made a lot of, well, not necessarily, they made, they made a lot of, I feel like the, all the moves they made were kind of big things they needed. So I has, I'll give them a B plus. I think the Bengals did things they needed to do. Orlando Brown's an upgrade over Jonah. So I like it. I, if Orlando shows up and plays how he played for the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, I mean, it's going to be a, it'll be a bomb signing. I know a lot of people are nervous about that. There are a lot of Chiefs fans like, oh, you're not, you, you know, who you think he is. I, I love Orlando Brown. I think he's going to be a great addition. I think for the way Joe Burrow plays, too, he gets the ball really quick. Good, you know, good. What's the word here? Good pairing. And yeah, I just think all in all, I don't, I, at first I didn't think I was going to lean B plus, but I'll go B plus for the Bengals. And just real quick, I know, did you want Orlando Brown? I wanted him basically to sure up the line. By the way, this is coming from like a Bears perspective. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want him to sure up the line, but I also understand that like he's much better fit in Cincinnati um, just because of the way, like Dobbs was saying, like his play style. Um, and that was kind of another thing is like when you have like a quarterback that moves, you got to make sure your tackles can fit that. Like Orlando Brown is huge. Yeah. Like I don't know if he's moving around like that. And Mahomes can scramble, but he's not getting out of the pocket that much compared to like a Justin or like a Lamar, you know? So I, I don't know. I, I would have wanted him to show up the line, but I, it is what it is. I, I like Braxton. I didn't want to move him to right tackle because if you can get a left tackle in the fifth round and develop him to be a starting left tackle. That's a steal. Filling right tackle, I feel like, is much easier. So, so much easier. I would rather be in this position. I mean, but I don't think the contract was like too crazy to give him, if that makes sense. Because they front loaded it. That's why it feels but like also, the Bears missed out. It was less than what everyone had thought. It was like 16 thought, mil a year. And they thought he was going to be in like the 80 range, like McGlinchey was. Yeah. But he wasn't. No. He was lower. Well, I think that's a team that would have let him play left tackle. But I also think Jonah Williams is not going to play right. Yeah, because then he's going to get paid like a right tackle. I think that's why he wanted to get traded. Yeah, if I like Collins was what injured and he didn't play that great last year. So what what are they? I don't know. And Jonah Williams didn't play that great last year either. So I I don't really know. I I know they're thinking about if I'm not mistaken, I know that they are thinking about cutting uh, the right tackle. So I know that that still is a possibility because you said he was injured all last year. He played like shit. Uh, So I I don't I if they do that, maybe the offseason goes up to an A. If they get that cat back and they can reinvest that cat, maybe the Bengals could shoot up to an A. Yeah. 